Hey guys, uh, it's Justin Dapper here. Uh, I want to apologize for the long wait. I said I'd be getting up uh, the my review of the stimulus map pack really soon after my uh, quick scoping video, but I've been a little busy with Easter and everything. And before that, my computer was EMP'd, as that guy who camps put it. Um, all the gameplay that I had uh, just didn't record. I thought it was recording for the whole day. But apparently my capture card was just like wasn't plugged in correctly or something. I don't know what happened. But so I didn't have a lot of gameplay. Then I had to go play again in a different day. But anyway, here's finally my review of the map pack. Uh, this game is Sabotage on Bailout. And um, let me just talk a little about the game first before I get into my review. But uh, the game was um, pretty exciting. Though I don't get the best score, I think it was like I uh, 46 and 11, or probably 44, something like that. It, but I think it was exciting, like this part right here. I was a little scared because a bomb was right next to me, and I got a couple kill streaks. But it made for exciting gameplay. I never played Sabotage before, and um, it was actually pretty fun. So uh, I'm playing with a lot of my friends here, and so yeah, we were all trying to play tactical at the same time get good scores but um anyways I camped a little bit here because I was still getting used to the new maps I'm still learning them I went to a best thing to do is to probably go into a private match look around the maps and um get to know the different spots different hiding spots the different like sniping spots and everything before you actually just go in into matchmaking so that's what I did before and I scoped out all the new maps and I have to say that though they I, I like Crash and Overgrown from Call of Duty 4 and I like the revamp that they gave them the new colors made it a little more appealing to um, play and um, I think that overall the map pack did not live up to the hype it was given I liked it but it was not the best I think it could have been better um, let's talk about the two old maps first Crash and Overgrown, obviously, as I said before, are just amazing maps. I loved Call of Duty 4. I loved playing them. and um, But I don't think that they took into consideration the new aspects of Modern Warfare 2 when they're uh, putting these maps into the game. Because I feel that Crash has gotten way smaller because of all these marathon lightweight kids. Maybe just because I've been playing Capture the Flag because I was on the stimulus package. But I feel like everybody's just running across the map really fast. The spawns keep switching. And I don't know. It's gotten a little too much for me. And at the same time, I don't think they took into consideration the kill streaks. Oh, and one second. I just fast forwarded it because it's a chopper gunner. Nobody wants to see me in the chopper gunner. <laughs> but um, anyway, I feel like Crash, the kill streaks, so just chopper gunner and everything like that, uh, Harriers. I don't know, I think that they're, the chopper gunner is really hard to work in Crash, and the Harriers don't do much, because there's so many, um, so many buildings, and it's such a small map, even to begin with, that it's really hard, so I don't know how they could have fixed that, but I don't know, I didn't really like it too much, and uh, Overgrown, obviously we all knew that it was going to be dominated by uh, Thermals, which I guess is okay, um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but, I don't know, it got annoying after a while. Um, and moving on to the three new maps, Bailout, which I'm playing right now, uh, Salvage, which is the card junkyard, and S Storm, yes, I keep forgetting the name of Storm. But, uh, anyway, um, let me just talk about Bailout first. Uh, I, I like this map, this is, it's, that... None of the new maps are bad, they're just not what I was expecting. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, Bailout has a lot of hard corners. As you can see, there's, like, this huge middle roadway that I'm on right now. A lot of people like to snipe from up there, where this guy's at, miss horribly. But, um, anyway, a lot of people are sniping, just posting up on these long, um, long corridors and, uh, sight lines. And just placing down their claymores, and I don't know. I it sort of annoyed me when I was playing in the beginning on the first couple days, 
but now I've gotten a little bit more used to it. It's not as bad. Oh, uh, right here my controller disconnects, so I'm just speeding up through that. But um, anyway, um, with let's move on to Salvage, the junkyard map. Uh, I listened to the interview with a uh, Robert Bowling, the in the bleh, the Activision's creative director, and he was saying that it was designed to like prevent camping and stuff like that. But I think that that was like the map that people camp on the most because I feel like there's three choke points per se in that map and though it looks really nice and everything um, those three choke points are in the middle and on the two sides with the little door and the passageway uh, I don't know where the headquarters is I don't know how to explain it on the truck but I feel that everybody's just camping those choke points and just waiting for people to come through and just shooting them I've seen so many snipers just hard scoping in there and I don't know if it got, it's gotten really annoying, but still, uh, I, I can imagine how you could run and gun if you're making a nice push. But uh, the spawn switch way too much because it's such a small map. I found that like so many people are spawning behind me. But overall, the spawn system in these new maps like Bailout and uh, Storm are not horrible. Uh, I had a little trouble with Salvage, but the rest are, are pretty good. They're pretty, they're, They've tried to fix it at least, I can tell. But, uh, Storm, what about Storm? Storm, I don't know. I, a lot of people I've talked to love Storm. They say it's one of their favorite maps, like, in the game. But, um, I don't know. Storm, for me, is, I like how it's, like, Downpour from Call of Duty 4. And Downpour was a pretty good map. But, I don't know, I, sort of, I think that they missed the mark with Storm. But that's just my humble opinion, obviously. But um, I feel that everybody's just waiting in the warehouse on opposite sides. It's a little too dark. Um, well, well, that's to advantage of some people. But um, I feel that uh, they could have done things differently. The wide open, like sight lines outside. I found so many many people just staring down them, and I don't know. That gets a little annoying for me. But um, I I think it's a fine, fine map, and I have no real issues with the map pack but um uh, a little bit about this game again uh this is a pretty pretty intense game <laughs> in bailout um sabotage obviously like i said we keep trying to plant the bomb but they keep getting out of it oh miss a couple shots there but um yeah i was telling my team we gotta plant it we gotta plant it i don't want to keep dying but uh i see i'm missing another shot there i don't know why my shots weren't hitting but um, I'm do I'm doing pretty good here, I think. But anyway, uh, back to the maps. Uh, what else? What else? Bailout. See, even bailout has these choke points, as as you could tell. This room right here, massive choke point. Cause if they're on the side that we're trying to plant at, they only have two real options besides going up the middle, which is just suicide, which you should stay away from in any map. Just going up the middle. They have that one corridor which I was just looking down, and they have this one, and they only that one door over there where I'm looking at, and that uh, hallway. So I think that this is one of the major choke points right here. So and they all spawn back there. So I'm being a little uh, cheap and just waiting for them, and I get stuck obviously. But um, yeah, I think the game is going to be coming to a close soon. So just want to talk a little bit about the channel itself. Uh, I have 74 subscribers right now, which is awesome. Almost 100 subscribers in, what, a week? And I only put up, like, three videos, and there's been a big gap, which I'm sorry about. But, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty amazing that I have 74 subscribers. And I've gotten a chance to play with a couple of my subscribers. Not necessarily at the same time, but there's a couple people I'd like to give a shout-out to. Red Dude, I played with him, a quick scoping game with a couple of my friends who are pretty good at quick scoping too. So um yeah, that was pretty fun. Oh, I think I think this game is about to end. I didn't even notice. Yeah, well uh I think I have a nice little save here. Or maybe they defuse it. Oh actually yeah the game is about to end, I'm sorry guys. But yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe, tell your friends, nice little save here. And uh please rate this video too. And this is Justin Dapper. Signing out. Stay frosty, guys.